How am I coping not playing Rebirth? I'm fine. I wait for games all the time. I waited for Remake as well. I am, however, extremely excited for Monday. I have a very cool giveaway event planned and just excited to get into the game. like do something i'm sorry can we just what the waterfall cave was right around here that means the lake should be somewhere north i thought i thought here. something was finally gonna happen and instead she just reads what we already wrote in it and then just stands there like, be wary though <laughs> come on do something seems to follow like she couldn't at least have just been like Oh, knock this. Uh, like, just literally anything? Just literally anything. Just Wait. anything. What happened to under Imperial lockdown? They all but turned the key. Like, 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 like just. Uh, maybe she reads the book and then the door opens and we see, like, a glimpse of <sighs> someone. Like, just, I mean, anything at all. I mean, that scene was just a complete waste of time. It's open for us. As if awaiting our arrival. Why are we stop? And if anyone's waiting for us, I bet it's that guy. Oh, because I'm driving. The Chancellor but... is Zunia. Can't complain as long as he lets us in. Who's to say he'll let us out? Not to mention we're a man down. Would that the marshal were with us. Oh yeah. Whatever happened to that guy? As I understand it, he's put his tomb raiding on hold to help the hunters take care of some troublesome beasts. No rest for the immortal. Last night I switched the M and N keys on a few of my coworkers' keyboards. Some might call me a monster, but others would call me a nomster. No way through. Genius. <sighs> we must be doubly cautious. Right, no gladio, no room for error. <laughs> I just did 9,900 damage. What was that perfect or what? I'll give you that. Is that really necessary? These guys are like insanely strong for some reason. I mean, I saw they were level 40 something, but. No, I prism. This is awkward. Yeah, you like that. 
they don't they don't like it. Starving to death, and yet we're all very much alive. I'm resisting the urge to not complain about the items again. I get used to having all this room back here. I'll let the big guy know you said so. Yo, thanks. I know, sick car. Noctis looks all lonely back there. It's kind of sad. Like the little kid in the back seat. <laughs> Give him a Game Boy or something. PS Vita. Give him a PSP. Hey, why don't we take a group picture over there? It's cloudy and rainy. No. <laughs> I think not. Oh man. Of all the times to ask, I think that's the first time he's asked. Of all the times to ask. I mean, I really haven't complained much. I've criticized. There's a difference between criticism and complaining. I feel like if I talk about the items again, I'll be complaining, because I already criticized it earlier. That's why I said I'm resisting the urge. Oh, sorry to hear that carry. Soul afterwards. What's up, Seamark? Wow, that summon came at a weird time. Onward, right. I think that this game can be great if you like it a lot of people played this game and really enjoyed it and would say it's great I think it has a lot of flaws and if the flaws are things that you dislike then you're gonna have a hard time enjoying it but I this game is more divisive than it is bad you know what I'm saying like, there's a chance you absolutely love this game. For sure. So, this is the type of game that watch somebody else play it, and if it looks boring to you, then don't play it. But if it looks fun to you, then play it. Soon. You know? Because it's going to be different for everyone. It has its flaws, but it also has its merits, so... It's really just up to you. Me personally, I think it's an okay game with a lot of flaws, and I personally have a lot of issues with it. But if the flaws don't bother you, then you could probably get a lot out of this game. Like you would probably enjoy it quite a bit.
I think a lot of people, like the first couple episodes, they thought I just absolutely hated this game. But it's because a lot of its issues are very apparent at the start. So I just had a lot of criticisms at the start. Because a lot of its issues start right off the bat, you know? Like, a lot of the problems are right at the start of the game, so... There was a lot to criticize at the start. And so I think people just kind of got the impression that I think it's like the worst game ever. But I mean, I, I've said many good things about the game, and I've also said that I'm enjoying this playthrough a lot more than I did my first playthrough. I think I've also noticed a lot of the flaw, a lot more flaws, and like it's hard. I don't really know what kind of like true rating I would give this game playing it now. Probably be higher than what I said before because a lot of things are better and fixed now. I think what's what I'm really struggling with right now in terms of if I had to like stop right now and give this game a rating. 0 out of 10. I think a lot of my frustration is like a lot of things are just not working right. <laughs> like I've had a lot of glitches happen today, like just fighting being weird and mechanics not working right and the camera being odd and you know what I mean? Like just it, it feels very, it reminds me of when I played it for the first time and I felt like everything was half baked. I'm getting that feeling again. And that, you know, that's just a genuine flaw. That's nothing that's going to change if you like the game or dislike the game. Welcome back, Snipes. Are they going to give this up yet? Yeah, it, it's just, it's feeling very unpolished today. We must regroup. Okay, yeah. That doesn't help its case. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I, I was really hard on the game at the start of the playthrough, but it's because, like I said, uh, there's the beginning of the game has a lot of issues, and I tend to talk about things as they pop in my head, so I just was talking about a lot of a lot of critical things all at once but it's just because I talk about things when they come in my head I don't I don't you know. I'm not trying to protect anyone's feelings that likes this game I if you like this game it's fine I'm not like I don't need to protect your feelings <laughs> you're allowed to like whatever game you want I'm not gonna like purposefully I'm not gonna purposefully be nicer to the game to protect your feelings if you like it. Like, just, you're allowed to like it. You're allowed to like anything you want. Like, you're allowed to disagree with me as much as you want. You can argue with every point I say if you want. Yo, Bubbly! Thank you for the tier 3! 54, holy moly. Thank you, thank you. We're talking about 16. Do you think there's anything that 15 does better than 16? Unfortunately, no. I can't really think of anything. RPG mechanics. I would hope so. I would hope after watching 14 other Final Fantasy games, you've realized at this point that I criticize things. Like... <laughs> You know, I would hope, I would hope that's, I would hope you get the, get the gist of it at this point. I criticize things as I play the game and at the end I give it a, a general, you know, look over. Uh, you know. Just because within an hour, 
a lot of things happen all in a row that I dislike doesn't mean at the end of the game I'm not going to still say it's a good game or give it a fair rating. I'm just talking about things as they come up. But I think some people see that and they're like, oh, he hates it. He thinks it's the worst game ever. He's just complaining. Like it's just a lot of negative things all happened at once. So I just talked about it as it happened. That's just kind of how it goes. My only thing is, the way you played the game at the start, I could play any game like that, even the good ones. You can pinpoint flaws in anything. I Okay, so I got, uh, I got several comments about this. People saying, like, I'm nitpicking. I really don't think I am. And none of those people gave me any, like, examples. I feel like everything I talked about at the start of the game was, like, very warranted criticism. If there was something I talked about at the start of the game that you're like, that was just nitpicking, then by all means, tell me what it is, and we'll converse about it. But I feel like pretty much everything I said at the start was very valid criticism, and most of the chat, granted, the chat here is a bit more echo chambery than YouTube, which I don't want it to be, but it's just, you're all my friends, so a lot of times you agree with me. But it seemed like everyone was on the, the same page. I was like, this seems like it could have been like this. And most of the people in the chat were like, I agree. So I don't know, you know, like by all means, tell me what I, what I nitpicked about that was unfair. But no one's really, like, I mean, I, by all means, I, I will, I will have a, a conversation about it, but. I think pretty much everything I've said, I've either has either been fair criticism, whether or not you agree or disagree with it, or I said it with the inclination of like this is how I felt when I played, you know, like this is not fair criticism. This is just how I felt when I first played the game. Subs, thank you so much for the raid, my man. Hope you had a great stream. I agree, all warranted, but for me it was like petty criticism in my opinion. The long walk to the first restaurant place, it was very dumb and foolish, but it's not that big of a deal. Why do you think that all of my criticism is a big deal? Like why when I, if, if I'm, if I'm, storm has passed. if I'm going like, if we have to walk from point A to point B and it's a really long walk and I say, Man, that was a really long walk. That was dumb. That should have been shorter. Why do you think that's a big deal to me? Like, I don't understand. It seems like, and the comments are like this too, I feel like I make a criticism and then I move on. And people in the comments are like, why is it such a big deal that you can, that, that you know, it's not a big deal. I'm just commenting on it. It's a let's play. It's a let's play and I'm commenting on what I see. Like, if it was a big deal, you would know it. If it was a big deal, I'd be slamming my controller and turning off the game and making a 10-minute YouTube video about how the walk between point A and point B is ridiculous and it shouldn't be there. Like, I just say it and move on. How? I mean, how is it a big deal? It was really ridiculous, so I don't not agree with you, but you said nothing good about the area. That's what made it sound like a big deal. It's just an observation. Like what? There was nothing good about that area. What? <laughs> I don't like what? What? It, there was nothing good about the area. So I had nothing good to say about the area because there was nothing good about the area. I, I think people are getting confused. I think people are getting my criticism confused with like. Because they think the game is good and they're just putting their own opinions on top of mine. Like. What, what do you want me to say, dude? You want me to be like, the walk from point A to point B is too long, and they should have made it shorter. But also, that's a really nice, pretty flower. Like, do you want me to just sugarcoat every single observation I have with something positive? Because I did that before, and it was terrible, and I hated it, and it was annoying, and so I stopped doing it. Couple couple playthroughs ago, I got so fed up with people 
saying stuff like that, that I was like, every single time I give a, a negative, I'm going to, I'm going to sugarcoat it. I'm going to be like, okay, guys, objectively, Final Fantasy 15 is a good game. It made good money and people enjoy it. But I just have to say that the walk between point A and point B is just a little too long. It's still a great game. I love it. I love you guys. I love humanity in general. But I just wanted you to know that it's just a little too long in between. Like, is that how you want me to talk? This is like ridiculous. I'm just going to observe the negative thing and then move on. Like, <laughs> this is a stupid argument. I'm sorry. It's a stupid argument. I disagree with it wholeheartedly. I'm going I'm going to observe what I see. And if you have a problem with that, it's just because you like the game and you don't like people talking negative about it. You know? How is it too heavy? Like, show me an example. Show me an example of when I was too, like, mean to the game. I, I mean... Because I... I... I I observe what's happening and then I move on. And that's literally always how it is. I, I mean, like, I think it was, um, what was, what was the thing that I kept going on about in one of the previous Let's Plays? Oh, it was Final Fantasy 16. I kept bringing up the, the accessories. And the reason I kept bringing it up was because chat kept asking about it. Like, I talked about it, I had my little monologue about it, and then I moved on. But then people kept asking me, new people kept coming in, because it was new, we were playing it new. People kept coming in, and they were like, what do you think about the accessories? And then I'd go on another tangent, because they were asking me. And looking back on it now, I feel like that was a mistake. I should have had my one monologue, and then maybe, like, just clipped it. And then whenever someone new came in the chat, and they were like, what do you think about the accessories? I could just link to that. Because now the Let's Play has like four different monologues of me going on and on about the accessories. And a bunch of people commented and were like, this guy just talks about the accessories, blah, blah, blah. Just unequip them, you know. And I think that's fair. Like, I talked about them too much, you know. But I don't think that's what's happening here. I think I'm literally just... And, and if I talk too much about the car, it's because we're constantly in the car. <laughs> and I'm observing the car over and over again. The accessories... You see them, you don't equip them, and then they're in your inventory and you don't, you know what I mean? So constantly talking about them is a bit silly because they're not affecting your gameplay. But the car, we're constantly in the car. So I'm constantly talking about the car because we're constantly in the car. I think that's fair. And like, you know, whenever something happens, I'm just observing that one thing. I'm not going back and saying, you know, it's, it's not like we had a walk from point A to point B. And I was like, wow, that was really long and dumb. And then every 20 minutes, I'm like, remember that walk from point A to point B? That was stupid, right, guys? This game sucks, haha. -ha. And then 20 minutes later, you guys remember the walk between? Man, that sucked. This game sucks, you know. That would be stupid. That would be like being disingenuous at that point. But I don't think I'm doing that. Oh boy, we got Arden back. Gentlemen, what a pleasant surprise. Ugh, told you he'd be waiting. With my Imperial friends, no less. Splendid. But fear not, I'll put in a good word. Well, come along then. Don't stray too far. It was more so a collection of the criticism. I think that's really what people are seeing. Because there's a collective things, there's a collection of bad things in this game. <laughs> I think, I think, I think they just like the game and they don't want people to poop on the game. I think that's all it is. Because there's a collection of bad things in the game. I, I mean, when it, I'm talking about multiple bad things because there's multiple bad things. If you can't accept that, then you're just, you just have a different opinion, which is fine. Did you get left behind? And surely... You'd rather avoid unnecessary scuffles. And if you think See, that all of my criticism is wrong, okay. that's perfectly fine. But to tell me we my Let's Play is bad because I'm talking too negative, it can't be I, I, I think it's negative. That's why I'm talking negative, you know? 
It's a precious resource, you see. Like, if you want to leave a comment and say, I think your criticisms are wrong and this is why, that's perfectly valid. But to say, I'm complaining too much and I'm too negative and I'm talking too much about the negatives and therefore let's play bad, that's ridiculous. It's my let's play. It's my opinion. I think the big game's bad, so of course I'm saying negative things. That's, I mean, that's like, that's like going on an IGN review for Bubsy 3D and being like, wow, this guy's so negative. <laughs> like, of course he is. He doesn't like the game. I never said that. Of course you didn't. Where is the fun in that? I and whenever I see something positive, I'm sure to say it. I've said many positive things throughout this playthrough. Fear not, I'll be but a moment. A moment doing what? Beats me. Hmm. All clear, go ahead. You seem way too... okay with this. Alas, the ever-wary military. They'll not abide visitors left unattended. I must prevail upon you to accept an escort. I've seen to everything. Oh. So... You're the new recruits they sent over for special training. Nice cover, runaway prince. What is this These lighting? Recruits. There's I think it's just because we're doing it at night. To turn you in. Let's get this show on the road. Show? Forgot about your training? Well, I'm being paid to escort you. Just watch yourselves in there. I mean, you have to you have to understand, Trev, also. Look at all the people that commented on the first couple episodes saying, I'm glad you're laying into this game. I had issues with it, too. I agree with these things you said. Like, just because there's a couple people saying he's being too negative, there's five times the people saying, you know, I'm glad you're giving us your opinion. So what, you want me to like, you know, stop what the most people are appreciating about the playthrough for the three people that really like the game and think I'm too negative? I trust you'll be civil. Commodore RNA Highwind, I leave them to you. You don't, you don't need me to back up your love of this game. If you love it, so that's great. Sundown. Won't do you, any good. you don't need me to, to, inside, to, have to wait. pamper you. I don't think he's asking you to do that. Well, he said, he said I was saying I was making it too big of a deal. What kind of place was this? Any idea, Ignis? Numb. Gee, I wonder what happened to the locals. Why not head inside and look for them? So, so is that the issue then? I'm allowed to be as negative as I want, but you just don't want me to make it a big deal? Like, I don't get what you want. Sounds like you Guys, want me to be as negative as I want. Some kind of light. The entrance. What else could it be? Bingo. Well, he said. I'm trying to go off of what he said. I agree, all warranted, but for me, it was like petty criticism, in my opinion. So he's calling my criticism petty. Is that not asking me to change the way I'm giving criticism? He's saying it's a bad thing. Well, no, he's not like, guys, <laughs> he's not literally saying in his comment, change the way you do your Let's Play. But Trev is my friend. He's been here for years. And he's telling me that my criticism is being petty. Is that not 
like, hey, Death, perhaps you should change the way you're doing your thing. Why else would he say that? Why else would he, in my chat, directly to me, tell me that my criticism is petty? Being a friend of mine for years. Like, is he not opening up the discussion to be like, maybe we should change things? Why else would he say that? Just to comment on it for no reason? I mean, maybe. It's a Twitch chat. We comment on random things all the time. Knew there was something not quite right. But I mean, it was directed to me. Aren't we eager? Those guys your friends or something? You appeared to be on good terms. Who? I don't, I'm just trying to... Man. How far does this go? You know, Get take the, the logic oh. further so that I can understand oh, how really? I should do my Let's Play. I thought it never end. The peep... Uh huh? Uh... Who left the lights on? No, it, it's not that he's asking me to change, still... but... No. I he's opening up the discussion to this could potentially be better, so I'm continuing the discussion to potentially make my Let's Play better. Like, I, I just, I want to have the open discussion so that we can... Thing I need now. So that if it is a problem, I can fix it. But I... At the moment, until proven otherwise... Disagree that it's a problem. Oh, thanks. That's a rock. I think that if I was sitting here and, you know, yelling and throwing the controller and, you know, being going over the same thing over and over again when it's not warranted, then that would be a problem. I don't know why my capture card keeps blacking out. Maybe I should reset it. Yeah, so watch your step. But like... I don't think I'm doing that. Well, okay, so like... Here's my- here's my problem. You're not the first person to say that I'm repeating the same criticisms over and over. But like I said before, with the Final Fantasy 16 playthrough, that was an issue. I agree that that was an issue. Like with the accessory thing, that only happened once. And then I wanted to move on. But chat kept bringing it up, and I kept feeding into it and talking about it over and over again. That was a problem. That was my fault. I shouldn't have done that. I should have had, like, a clip set up so that people could just watch the clip so that the Let's Play wasn't me talking about something that happened at the beginning of the game over and over again. This game, the problems are constant. And this is a Let's Play. So I'm observing what's going on. What else do you want me to say when we're sitting in a car, driving for five minutes, doing absolutely nothing other than, wow, we're in the car again? Like, what else is there for me to say? I can't, like, that's the criticism I'm going to give for that part of the game. I, I can't just, I mean, I could just sit here and be quiet. I could, I could write a list down of everything I've criticized and then make sure I never say that thing again. And then for half the playthrough, I would just sit here and say nothing. But I don't think that's what you want. <laughs> so because of that, I'm going to repeat myself quite a bit. That's just the way it is. Yo, whatever that is it's disgusting. I'm going to repeat myself. Because this game repeatedly has the same problems. Like I said, I'm not going to write down everything I've criticized and make sure I only say it once. And... I wouldn't want to do that anyways, because repeating it shows you how repetitive the problems are. If I've said the same thing four times, then as the viewer, you should probably be like, wow, that's happened four times. That's that's more of a problem than we even thought at the beginning. What in the world just happened? That wasn't my capture card, that was the game. Hey! 
I, I mean, all I can give you is my word, but I'm not being biased. Whenever I've been biased, I've strictly said so. You know, I've said, when I played this originally, I had these preconceived notions. You know? Look up. That's the water's surface. Wait, what? Does this mean we're underwater? Whoa. There's even fish. The hell is this place? This is cool. I like this actual real change of scenery. Like company above us. Oh, and then the jellies came out of the water. That was dope. And they're called Crembulae, of course. I, I, like, I genuinely am trying to be as unbiased as possible, and whenever I am biased, I'm saying it. So, if you think I'm being biased, then that's fine. I'm sorry, but I, I'm genuinely, I genuinely think I have not been as much as I possibly can. Uh, I don't have much to... Oh, I could do this, I guess. This just kills everything. How's everyone? Good. How about you? Just chipper. Ah, a way through. Your let's play is fine. I'm defending the defenders of the game. Why do they need defended? Something overlooked? Not a hundred percent sure. Why why do they need defended? The people that like this game and are watching this let's play are enjoying hearing a different side. They don't need defended. They they enjoy seeing the side of someone that doesn't like the game as much and seeing the flaws that the game has and seeing what parts of the game I enjoy, even though I don't like it. The people that watched the first few episodes and then cried in the comments, they're gone. They're not here. So they don't need Defended. The people that, you know, threatened my chat and yelled at everyone else in the comments and all that stuff, they're probably gone. Can I just... And I don't want to defend those people anyways. Demons till death do us part. Yeah, somebody somebody uh, asked for one of my chat members, I won't say who to unalive themselves. Specimens. And we're stuck harvesting them. Specimens? Demons. So what's all this about the army and demons? <laughs> What do you think it is? Nice. I love guessing games. Yeah, no, we don't. We don't need to defend these people. Again, yeah, no, we we don't need to defend people that like Final Fantasy 15. They're perfectly okay watching this and being like, okay, he has a different opinion. That's cool. They've been here since Final Fantasy One, where we all had different opinions about Final Fantasy One. And then Final Fantasy 2, where we all had different opinions of Final Fantasy 2, and so on and so forth. And now we're at Final Fantasy 15. And some of you guys like this game, and some of you guys don't like this game. I happen to be one of the ones that don't like the game. And they can see that and respect that. They don't need defended. They're, they're grown-ups. They get it. They understand people have different opinions. The Empire makes weapons out of them. Weapons? Yeah, I'm sure you've seen your share by now. Something not quite right with the Empire lately. It's not just lately. We're all adults, Should I think. Maybe it's time I left. Really? What would you do if you left the army? Whatever I want. I was a mercenary once. Maybe I'll round up my You get mad when you see videos absolutely cash? praise the game? Uh, well, uh, here's your opposite. <laughs> here's a video where I tear into it every chance I can get. There you go. Enjoy.
But again, I'm not I'm not unnecessarily tearing into it. I'm tearing into it when it's time to tear into it. I genuinely think that. And if you disagree, that's fine. But I genuinely think the only time I've criticized this game is when it was very warranted. When something happened and I was like, that was dumb. And whenever someone comes in here and they're like, hey, how you liking 15? I'm like, having a blast. I'm not like, this game sucks and I'm having no fun and I can't believe people like it. That would be the problem. If I was actively criticizing people that liked it, have you heard me do that? I really can't stand that guy. Where would you guys be without me? Not too shabby. And I apologize for the the giant monologue here, but I'm so sick of like I will watch other people play games and criticize people that like the game. You know, they'll say this game sucks. People that like it suck. You know. We, we like good games around here, but, you know, and I'm genuinely trying to just give it criticism and then be like, we're all allowed to like what we like, you know, we all are allowed to like what we like, but I genuinely think that this game has this, this and this problem. And I still get people that think I'm being like toxic about it. I mean, what else do you want? Like, I don't know what to tell you. I, I, I genuinely think. If you think I'm being toxic about this game, that you just are blinded by your like of your love of it. You just love it too much and you don't like anyone to say anything negative about it. Is you're just it not being safe? open. Not you're just you're just not being open to other opinions. I think it's a you problem. Sorry. I think it is. I think you gotta, you gotta check yourself and be like, you know what? This guy's doing his own Let's Play on his own channel and giving his own opinions. And he's not attacking anyone. And he's not telling anyone else that they're wrong. He's just giving his criticisms. And I'm choosing to be offended by that because I like the game a lot. You know? This isn't a official IGN review of Final Fantasy 15. It's a let's play on my own channel. You should expect my opinions and nothing else. And at the end of the game, I will give it a overall, you know, here's my kind of like review of it. So if you want to get mad about that, sure. That's fair. That's totally fair. Wait till the last episode. Hear what I have to say about the game overall, and then if you want to be angry about that, I will 100% accept it. But until then, I'm just talking about what I see and forming my opinions. You know? I'm, I'm forming my opinions as I play the game. Nothing I'm saying is even like 100% cemented and guaranteed as my final opinion. That's another thing that I wish people would kind of understand. Like... At the beginning of the game when I was like, you know, I don't really like this car ride. That's not like a 100% for sure I hate the car forever. It was just like, hey, I don't like it right now. You know, I have to form my opinions as I play. I'm sure when I played this game for the first time, I probably said something like, wow, this Arden guy sucks. This, this character sucks. And I'm sure people raged and were like, Arden's the best character. It's like, well, of course, I'm not through the game yet. I'm not at the point where he gets to be good. <laughs> You're breaking my fishbowl. Your badass RNA. Oh, thanks. Ugh. Yeah, I think that context is important, you know? Like, if someone says, 
Arden is a crappy character in an official review of the game saying that they played through the entire game and are now giving it an official review, then yeah, that's something that you can say like, hey, objectively, I feel like he's a good character. But if someone says Arden is a crappy character three hours into their first playthrough of the game, or even second playthrough, because, you know, I'm attacking this like it's our first time oh, through. Two arms. Is he going to break the... Yes. Uh, then it's then it's different, you know? You kind of have to look at it at face value and be like, you know... This guy's still forming his opinions. And that's not to mention, like, you know... People can still have their opinions even fully formed, and it's still an opinion, and no one should really be attacked for that, regardless. But... It's the internet. People attack. Everyone regroup. Okay. Yep. Healing this guy. <laughs> Want to hit the giant? Okay, we just gotta kill this guy first. I feel like this poison on Ignis is like super good. Every enemy gets like immediately poisoned at the start of a fight. It always goes off like right away. this dungeon so far it's like way more unique than the freaking five five little corridors and then a boss or like that stupid ice cave this actually feels like a dungeon this kind of feels like a final fantasy 12 dungeon kind of looks like a final fantasy 12 dungeon You didn't like generic cave number five. You know, obviously we're not taking DLC into account here, but uh, I have heard the DLC like dungeons are really good. I think they learn from their mistakes. Yeah, it's a real shame. It's a real shame to hear, like, stuff like that, because that's what makes Final Fantasy great, in my opinion. What makes Final Fantasy great is that there's 15, well, now 16 different games, different mainline games, and everyone has a different favorite. And that's amazing. That's what makes Final Fantasy great. They're all so unique and hit people in different ways that... You can have one person say Final Fantasy VI is their favorite, another say Final Fantasy XV is their favorite. And they both have genuine reasons why that are important to them, you know? And having that conversation is incredibly interesting. You know, to hear why someone's favorite is the one that's their favorite. You know, like any other, any other game series, it's like, okay, which... Mario game is your favorite. It's like, oh, well, okay, Mario might actually be a good example of so many different ones. But which, which Uncharted game is your favorite? Oh, Uncharted 2 is my favorite because it's the best one. You know, like, there's not going to be as in-depth of, of conversation or maybe like, oh, I like 3 because I like this one character. Oh, oh, I like 1 because it's the first one. Or I like 1 because it was the first one I played and I grew up with it and yada yada. But like, 
you know, there's so much more like depth of information, depth of, of conversation with which Final Fantasy is your favorite. Oh, five is my favorite because of this character and I grew up with the game and it made Let's me right. realize blah, 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 and the interaction between these characters. You know, there's so many like different reasons why people like the games. And to hear people say stuff like, you know, 15's my favorite and I'm not willing to even hear about your opinions. I just want you to know 15's the best. Or even, you know, 7's the best, the other ones suck, or... Objectively, 7's the best and if you think anything else you're wrong, like, it's just a shame. Because that's what makes Final Fantasy special, is that we all have our different reads on all of them. Not too shabby. And that's what makes this playthrough. That's what makes Final Fantasy so great, because you get to hear my opinions on all the games, which are going to be very different than yours. Because they have to be. Right. There's too much... Too much going on with all of these games for you to agree with everything I have to say. But, I mean, it would be ridiculous of me to think that any of you agreed with everything I've said over the course of... Three years. <laughs> you know, there's gonna be a ton of disagreements. In terms of little things and big things. I might say that... Six is one of the best in the series, and you might disagree. Or I might say that the Esper mechanic in Six is good, and you might agree. Like, uh, there's so many things to agree and disagree about. I would be a fool to ever think you would agree with everything. And I wouldn't want you to. It's good to hear, Chryso. Uh, the mind control is working. Oh, there's definitely people that say 6 is bad. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I've heard it all, man. I, I have truly heard it all. Okay, let's check this out. Where did she go? I have truly heard it all, especially being on Twitch. There's some wild opinions. There's always wild opinions. Rough day, Prince. Nothing I can't handle. Good. I'd be worried otherwise. I remember when I went to uh, um, uh, Distant Worlds. When I went to the Distant Worlds concert, I was standing behind these, uh, this like group of people. We were in line, I think, to get in or something. And one of them said something along the lines of 15 is the best because it's the newest one, right? And I had to like stop and I was like, there are people in this world that video games are not their main hobby and they don't understand the video game landscape and that is okay. <laughs> so <laughs> that is okay. There are people that just that gaming is not a big thing for them and they just kind of play what's new and that is okay. That is fine. That, pe that does not make him a bad person. <laughs> But it was hard, okay? It was hard. It was a hard time for me. <laughs> no, it was fine. But yeah, no, like you gotta, they like, gotta realize, like, I mean, whenever, whenever we have like a discussion like this in terms of, you know, people having crazy, um, crazy opinions about games, I try to remind people, like, there's people that hate video games, you know, for every person that you talk to that's like, Chrono Trigger sucks. 
there's also people that think that all video games suck and that anyone that plays video games are just wasting their life and they're idiots and they're nerds and get a job and etc cetera, etc cetera, right so for every person you talk to that has like a crazy hot video game opinion they're still on a level of more understanding than those people you know so you kind of have to realize that like yeah that's a really crazy hot take but they're still a gamer they're still part of our community they're still someone that we can respect they're not literally just saying, oh, you play video games, you're a nerd, and I hate you, and go die in a pit. You know, they're not just a toxic individual. They just have a hot take. For every person with a hot take, there's someone with, uh, you know, making threats and being toxic. Like, I'll take a hot take any day. <laughs> Go die. <laughs> I wasn't using that as... A, you, you can't... Don't take that. Why are we walking? Are you guys spooked or something? I'm a little lost because I've been talking. I think maybe we go in here. I found an item at least. Yeah, I said hotcakes. Oh yeah, speaking of which, there was somebody that commented on, I think, like, the second video. And they said, they, they started off their comment with, like, he said, like, the reason that I don't like the combat is because I don't understand the combat. And I was like, good. This is great. You know, I, I, I really... This is good. Like, this is a good discussion to have because I don't think I understand the combat. Like, <laughs> I'm doing my best, but I tend to be really bored in the combat, and I feel like it's because I don't understand everything there is to the combat. You know, let's have a fair discussion about this, you know? Like, yeah, I love this. And then they proceeded to do, like, five separate paragraph-long comments being, like, incredibly toxic. And I was like... Like, had you just had this conversation, it would have been fantastic. And I could have, like, you know, brought the comment on here and we could have all discussed it. And maybe you would have changed my mind. And maybe I would have been, like, would have learned something. But instead, you choose to be toxic. So it's like, that sucks, dude. Sucks that you can't, like, check your toxicity at the door to have, like, an actual discussion. Uh, no, that was not you. No. If I'm if I'm recognizing your name correctly, it was not you. No, I would hope. I would. I would genuinely hope that that guy's long gone. Yeah. That he's not hate watching the the let's play. Like, if you dislike the let's play, that's fine. Don't watch. I don't know. I don't know why you're watching if you don't like it. Huh. Just like to be mean, I guess. Oh, do I have to... I have to wait for this to... Is it like a timed thing?
You have to give it, give it sub to turbo. I just feel dumb. <laughs> like, I wasn't paying attention. So I gave myself the benefit of the doubt. But now I am paying attention. And I'm still incredibly lost. The thing dropped, so I thought... I would have to, because that's where, like, that fight happened. I mean, I, if I'm being honest, I do think that the combat in this game has a lot of issues, and I think even if there are parts of it that I don't understand, it's still in general bad. Or at least, like, could be improved. I don't think that just because I don't completely understand. And also, if we're really going to get into it, I think the problem is that I don't have to understand it. I do not have to understand the combat. All I need to do is hold circle, hold square when it tells me to, and use a potion if I go down. I do not need to know anything else other than that to win. So that's the real problem. I have no incentive to learn how to actually fight. I mean... If your health bar goes to zero in another Final Fantasy game, you have to redo a part of the game oh, again, so you're more incentivized not to do that. Yeah. If my health goes down in this game, I just throw a potion. Oh, I see. Wait. I don't see. There's two check marks there. Okay, I see. I mean, like, I don't see what it is that I. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, no, I don't know. The combat isn't fun at, at its core, so I don't think that throwing in a couple extra... Oh, if you use this weapon and hold down, you do a little flip, is gonna, like, fix it. You know? I'm using my regular weapons, I'm using the special weapons, I'm using magic, I'm using the armager, I'm using dodging, I'm using link attacks, I'm using chain attacks, I'm using blindside attacks, I'm using my party abilities, like if all that isn't enough, then I need to also understand like the very small nuances of things for it to be fun then I think that's a bit of a failure in the combat aspect. I don't think we can just say, well, you don't understand the 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 very specifics of the combat, so you have no opinion. You're not allowed to have an opinion on it. I mean, I think I'm doing what most people did when they played the game. I don't think most people understood the very small nuances. I think most people played the game like I'm playing it currently. Yeah. 
yeah, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with this playthrough. I've learned a lot about the game, and a lot of my preconceived notions of my first playthrough have been changed. And I've been able to pick up a lot more of the positives this time around. Because I, I, I've said this before, I'll say it again, I was jaded on my first playthrough. I truly was. I 100% admit it, I was jaded on my first playthrough. After all the crap I went through, up until the release of the game, it was genuinely frustrating just playing through it. So, like, I was very jaded my first playthrough. And that's a fair jaded. That was, I mean, it's my own playthrough, it's my own opinion. I'm allowed to be jaded if I want to be. But playing through it now, I've been able to uh, appreciate a lot more than I did my first time. So I've very much enjoyed this playthrough. And I will say, no, I don't think I was the only one for sure. Um, I will say that a lot of the issues that I had are still here, though. But, yeah. No, I, I, you know, I'm very much enjoying the playthrough. Anyways, and I'm enjoying it because it's Fantathon, and I'm enjoying it because you guys are here. And we're having great conversations. And I'm enjoying it because it's the finale of Fantathon. And I'm very much looking forward to that final day. It's going to be wild. Nope, don't use that. That heals him. Uh, I... <laughs> Too late. Propto just falls over after the fight. Square, I think I. Not sure what happened there. I did something to screw up the block. I want to use High Wind, but she's. My, my teammates are stuck on a wall or something. They're not here. Where are my teammates? They were, they were right behind me. Where are they? <laughs> they were right behind me. I, and I didn't... I just walked from one room to the other room. How did they get lost? This is like... Hey guys, this is an objective criticism. Get your asses out of here. All if you like Final Fantasy XV, don't take this personally. I would just like to, to mention that my party is done. Moving on. <laughs> that dude just be a fact. How did they get behind the gate? Like, I didn't walk through a gate. May oh, maybe it, like, closed. Like, is this an ambush? Where the gate closes and they got stuck behind the gate? If that were the case, then I actually take back what I said, because maybe that's on purpose. 
Maybe if you're not sticking close enough to your party members, the gate closes and you get punished for it. But we'll go with that, just for the sake of being positive. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the gate opened afterwards. Did this one open? Yeah, okay. No, I think that's fair. I ran too far off without my party, and they got stuck behind the gate. That's my fault. I'm not sneaking, I'm just tired. <laughs> They're sneaking because I'm tired. But I had to walk. Oh my god, the freaking jump. I think I figured out why you jump so much when you mean to do stuff. So like, when you get close to something, the prompt comes up and it says X to absorb, right? But it doesn't literally mean you can press X right now to absorb. What it means is you're now in range to press X to absorb. But if you're like running and you're not like able to absorb at the moment, okay, running isn't a good example, but if you're doing something, and you can't absorb at the moment, then he will jump instead. So like if I roll into this and then it says press X and I press X, he'll jump instead. At least he did before. There you go. So like if something happens, like if you get bumped or something, that's when you just like randomly jump. Or knocked is just not ready to do it. But it'll say it regardless, because you're close enough. And it's like that with everything, with like talking to people too, which is why you just randomly jump all the time. Can we stop with the meta jokes? There's a big room, must be a boss. <laughs> yeah, it's Quetzalcoatl. So I'm guessing I shouldn't hit him with lightning. You hit him with a little fire. Cast Fyra. I'm dead. <laughs> what a great start. Holy moly. That was some damage. Again, Ignis instantly poisons him. We must regroup right here. No, it won't be a double day. I'm trying to take my time with 15. I don't want it to end like right as we're in the heat of rebirth, because a lot of people are going to be like dodging the rebirth streams. At least at first. So, I'm trying to take our time so that we have. Rebirth happening over the next couple of weeks, and then finale of Fantathon after that. And then I have a couple events planned, including the after party for uh, 
for Fantathon. So trying to trying to space it out a little bit. So we're we're taking our time. That's why I'm doing a lot of like side quests too, although I want to anyways, because this is gonna be an epic finish. Because I wanna like explore the open world, because that's what this game is supposed to really be. But yeah. Trying to, trying to take our time. Check out over here. Also get absolutely yeah. dumpstered. Impressive. We're alive! Let's celebrate by <sighs> That concludes our business here. Say, Commodore. Aranea. You said the Empire uses demons to make weapons? Listen, you've seen Magitek troopers, right? MTs. They're born from demons. In demons. The lab. Born from demons. Darkness is coming. If I were you, I'd watch my princely ass. A kingly ass. Will do. That's right, I'm a king. Don't you forget it. Ah, fresh air. Made it out in one piece. Congrats. That concludes your training. You've still got a hard path ahead, but don't let anyone tell you how to walk it. <laughs> you may have been hired under false pretenses, she okay? but your assistance was invaluable all the same. <laughs> tell me something I don't know. You can spare the pleasantries. Take care walking your path, Aranea. Oh, right. Thanks. I, I will. And I'll train you some more if our paths cross again. Oh, and before I forget, his excellency instructed me to give you boys a ride back. If you need a lift, feel free to hop on. Well, glad that's over with. Noct, I have just received word from Cindy. And? We're to return to Lestalum. Her friend works as an engineer at the power plant. She'll take care of the mithril. Uh-huh. And that'll take care of our boat problem. Once you're rested and ready, I suggest we hasten back to Lestalum. Make sure you're prepared. I can buy weapons. Ding Should dong. Say goodbye to such a nice fishing spot. Want to see what's biting before we bolt? Nice brand. That's stronger than my sword. I already have an ice, or no, I have a thunder sword now. I may actually want to equip that. All the other stuff is the same. Uh, the fishing's alright. I thought it was like pretty decent. As a fishing minigame. Um, I didn't really at the time understand why they thought it was so good that it needed like an entire game based on it. But I've heard that the fishing game is actually pretty good. So I guess they just like really expanded on it a lot. But it's alright. I mean, it's a fun little distraction. It's nothing, like, super special, but... I also didn't... Well, I did it enough to get the Platinum, at least, so I, I must have done at least a little bit of it. You're headed to Lestalem, right? I'll take you there, but no further. Got it. So, ready to ship out? Not yet. Sorry. I'll go myself. Well, hurry it up. I don't need your help. Yeah, I mean, I like I've played better. Is Dark Cloud Two fishing really good? I liked Dark Cloud One fishing. I haven't tried Dark Cloud Two fishing because I only played a few hours of Dark Cloud Two. But Dark Cloud One fishing was super good. I don't know for how much I'm like addicted to mini games, in games. Uh. I've never really liked fishing that much in any of in any game. Enough to like 
do it when it's around, but... Or if I have to, but... Never have I really thought, like, wow, that fishing game was incredible. You know? I guess... Isn't this supposed to be my car? <laughs> what? What? Or is that... That's where my car... Wants to be, but isn't currently. Yeah, like... I always thought they are like a fun distraction, but never on the level of like... A card game or a more... You sure you involved mini game. Oh, I'm stuck here. Oh, I have to talk to. Uh, I, I, I. Load off for a while. I guess we'll just save here then. I can save, right? Okay, good. Uh. We'll just keep saving a new files. So why not? I used to like uh, actual fishing with my grandpa we used to go fishing it was uh, it was really uh, rewarding to my, me and my grandpa used to fish and then go home and like clean the fish and eat it the same day and that was always like a really rewarding experience it, it somehow it somehow resonated with like the the deep unga bunga energy inside of me, you know? Some some ancient caveman version of death was like pleased with the fact that I caught, cleaned and ate my own fish, you know? So if you've never done that before, highly recommend. It'll it'll please the caveman inside of you. It'll give you unga bunga energy. <laughs> To like hunt either fish or hunt your own food. Not that you need to do it all the time, but do it at once is, is cool. Yeah, we, we used to do that every once in a while and it was really fun. I wish I remembered how to clean fish. He taught me, but it was so long ago, I pretty much completely forget, but I'm sure I could relearn. And maybe I could take my kids fishing someday and do the same. Yeah, I was never really like, I never really understood the, because a lot of people that I know that fish, they almost do it in, uh, as a replacement for like, meditation. So like, some people will meditate, some people will do yoga, some people will do like, some kind of like inward act to like, reset themselves emotionally. And I know several people where that is fishing for them. They'll, they'll go out on a boat, either alone or with, like, one other person that's doing the same thing. And they'll just, like, sit out there and almost, like, 90% of what they're doing doesn't actually involve catching fish. Does that make sense? Like, if they went out there and didn't catch a single fish, they'd have almost the same experience. It's much more about the the meditation and the quiet and the, you know being with yourself kind of thing so that's cool i've never experienced that every time i went fishing it was with my grandpa and i was a kid so it was a lot more hectic <laughs> it was a lot more me being a kid and you know him helping me with the lore and me sitting there talking and you know so i've never really experienced like the adult personal peace time of fishing but maybe I should someday. Maybe I would enjoy it. I feel like it would be really relaxing. I've never really enjoyed being on the water that much. I've been on boats and stuff, and I enjoy it, but I don't really feel, like, calm being on the water. Some people, that's, like, their place, you know? Like, they're natural-born fishermen, and they just, like, their body wants to be on the water. But... For me, not really. It just feels like anything else, uh, or maybe even less so. Maybe I'm a bit, like, especially with my kids. When I'm on a boat with my kids, it is anxiety. 
<laughs> all it is is anxiety. I'm like, please God, don't let this boat go down. I have to save these kids from the water. You know. So, like, I think it's more anxiety than anything, but. Yeah, maybe. Maybe someday I'll try it. I don't really have, like, a meditation activity that I do. Somebody, I think Daniel said, like, playing video games. I don't think that's really, like, meditation for me, but maybe. It's probably, it's, it's a bit too, like, involved, but also, I do play games I, that I specifically play because I don't have to think about them. So maybe in a way, that's kind of my meditation activity, you know? Like I, like, I do have specific games that I play that I specifically play them so that I can zone out and just not even, you know, just press buttons. So perhaps that's my meditation activity without me even realizing it. But in terms of just playing video games normally, yeah, like I think it's a bit too involved. Your brain's working too much. It's got to be something that you can just zone out and not think and just, you know, be inside your own head for a bit. But anyways, random meditation talk aside <laughs> we're gonna stop here for today um thank you guys for the conversation today i know i went a bit off tangent there with uh our discussion but uh i think it was warranted i think it was a good discussion to have um and i appreciate you guys being here for that and, and talking with me on that um and challenging me on that um today was a was a cool day with final fantasy 15 i think um for the most part, like, well, okay. It was kind of 50-50. The dungeons today were cool, but the base was a bit of a letdown. We got the fight Aranea, but that was a pretty quick fight. And other than that, it was just kind of a, a discount version of the first base. Uh, and then the other two things we did were just sitting in the car. So that was really lame. Um, the little detour we did to fight that boss was good, but that was a side quest. We didn't have to do that, so that was kind of weird. Um, but I'm glad it was there, and it was fun, the the fight against that dinosaur. Um, and then this dungeon was definitely, like, the best dungeon so far. That dungeon was really cool, so kind of a 50-50 today. Some was kind of lame, some was, was really good, so... Um, but in general, I'm still enjoying the playthrough, and I think I'm... I'm I've gotten to the point now where I understand most everything other than the, the real deep nuances of the combat, but I, I think my biggest takeaway from today, unfortunately, is that I'm just kind of, like, zoning out on the combat now. Um, there were multiple fights today where I just held circle until I died and then threw a potion and won. There was the fight with the, uh, the hunt that was double my level that my teammates died in like two seconds and then I just sat there attacking and eventually won. So like that's a really big shame and that shouldn't happen. Um, especially in an open world game where they kind of want to punish you for going into the wrong areas and then have you come back and beat it later. That kind of doesn't work when I can actually win it if I just throw enough potions. Uh, the cat that we fought earlier was strong enough to where, like, yeah, I gotta come back and do that. That was way above my pay grade, but that hunt should have also been above my pay grade, but I was able to cheese it by just throwing potions. So, um, that's a real shame, and it goes back to what I was saying last week about the potions being a really big problem. Um, I think that we had a conversation last week about, like, that's kind of the case with all phoenix downs like every game as long as your whole party doesn't die you can throw a phoenix down in this game it's a bit different because your whole party can die and you can still throw a phoenix down but i get the argument with like phoenix downs have always been a bit op if you have 99 of them the big problem here is that i'm using potions regular potions not even high potions i'm using regular potions and i'm able to fight any fight i want uh, because if you go down, any item brings you back up, as long as you don't go all the way down. Um, so, like, that's a big problem. I can understand if you grind to the point where you have so much money you can buy 99 Phoenix Downs and then you're a god, 
but even with the regular potions, you can pull this off. You know, I can do like three hunts and have enough money to buy 99 potions and then I'm set for life. So that's a big problem. I mean, that that's, I, I think that's a very, very big criticism I have is that you shouldn't be able to buy the cheapest item in the game and be practically invincible to everything that's not 30 plus your level. Um, so I, I'm definitely doubling down on that and saying that that's a big problem and it continued to be a problem during today's playthrough. Um, and I don't think it's ever going to not be a problem. I think it's going to be like this for the rest of the game. I think I'll be fighting the final boss and popping potions. Um, so that's a big shame. And people were saying at the start, like this game works so much better as a no item run. And that's awesome. Obviously, I'm not going to rate the game based on that because that's your own thing that you're your your own challenge you're giving yourself but as i said last week if you're looking to play this game i highly recommend trying a no item run because i think that would be a lot more fun i think you'd have to actually approach fights with like a strategy and approach fights with can i do this fight yet because you'd be very limited especially with healing um because the magic is limited i know magic can heal you but magic is also limited so you'd have to go into like every fight understanding what magic you have what healing options you have and the power level of the enemy whereas here you just run blindly into anything with 99 potions and you're set and even if an enemy is 40 times your or 40 plus your level he'll one shot your whole party you'll pop a potion and then you run away and then you don't even game over so yeah it's a big shame but other than that uh definitely a lot of positives this week and uh, very excited to get back into it next week. So I want to say goodbye to YouTube. YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Let's play Final Fantasy XV and Final Fantathon. Really appreciate you being here. And again, I really appreciate all of your thoughts about Final Fantasy XV with how divisive it is. It is a really awesome conversation to hear like what you guys think about the game and about um, your own criticisms as well as your own experiences with the game. So thank you. And we'll see you in the next episodes of Let's Play Final Fantasy XV. Peace.